Greek mythology is actually fun. I took a class on it in college. There's just so much, there's so many memes in ancient mythology. That's, that's my theory, is that myths are just ancient memes that have been passed down through history. And you know, if, if, if a story has been passed down for like 3,000 years, it, it's got, it's got to be pretty good at something, you know. It, it's got to be decent. What are some fun stories? What are some fun stories from mythology? I've forgotten a lot of them. I'm not gonna like. Oh, I remember there was this one time where, uh. Alright, so there was a big, uh. Wait, I think this started the War of Troy. There was a big. All the gods were, were having a big. having a big meetup, and they invited literally everyone except Eris, the god of Discord, which. You, you know, they didn't use Discord back then. They used Skype, of course, so handed by Eris. She was, uh, she was not very happy, so she throws this apple, she just chucks this apple into the party and it says, like, you know, only the, only the hottest goddess can take this apple. And it, it just rolls directly in between, who was it? It was like Artemis, Athena, whoever was married to Zeus, she's probably very important and I forgot her name. And they, they're just like, they just immediately descend into fighting because they just, they have zero emotional maturity at all. And they're like, all right, Zeus. You gotta decide which one of us is the hottest, and Zeus is like, I would never do something, because you know Zeus is the god of feminism, Zeus is like, I, I would never do something as demeaning as ranking women based on their looks, so you guys should instead, and then he opens up the Greek phone book, and he's like, uh, uh, uh ask Paris, this random guy, ask Paris, yeah, yeah, so they all go, they all go like, three goddesses descend to the mortal plane, and just, and just confront this random guy that Zeus threw under the bus because he, he didn't he didn't want to deal with that mess. Hera, okay, okay, it's Hera. <laughs> and they're they're just they're just like talking to him. He's like, oh, I don't I don't want to choose one of you. And they're like, relax. Like, okay, promise not to get mad if I choose one of you. And they're like, we promise we're not gonna get mad. And then he picks. I I don't actually remember who he picked. I think it was maybe Artemis. And then the other two were like, all right, it's time to genocide his people. It's time to genocide his people. And then the, that's how the War of Troy happened, and they all died terribly. <laughs> Is this fun? Hera, Aphrodite, and... All right, Aphrodite, it's not Artemis. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. All right. Now that makes sense because Aphrodite left it. Wait, do I have a mythology book? I have like, I brought the actual book back from college that has all the original texts that have been restored throughout the ages. This is some high level stuff. Because the problem with the mythology is that like, if I tell a story, someone's going to be like, that's not how it went, Technoblade. And then they're going to give like one of the other 10 versions of the story. Because it's been 3,000 years. It's oral storytelling. They came up with like 50 different versions, okay? Okay, uh, I'll admit the, the Artemis part was simply incorrect, but sometimes I'll say something that I, I'm sure I'm, li I'm reading it directly from the source. Like, I have a translated ancient Greek text. Would it be ancient Greek or would it be, would it be Roman? And they, like, translated it to that. Look, I don't care. I actually have a story I remember. People, uh, there were a few comments where people were saying, oh, actually, Technoblade Theseus wasn't a hero. He was, he was, he was a terrible person, Technoblade. I'm sitting like, oh my god, shut up, you nerds. You nerds, no one cares. He's, he's still the founding hero of Athens. I don't care if he was a douchebag, alright? He's still a Greek hero. What do you mean? Besides, literally, which mythological figures look like saints by, by modern standards? They're like, they're all terrible people, come on. Come on, so many of them are just the worst. They're just the worst. Oh, well, the Theseus story actually does work. I mean, obviously, there's there's slightly more details than I could fit. I mean, there's actually an astounding amount of parallels between Tommy in it and Theseus, if you think about it, all right? Because, like, they both they both had, like, their, their, their little uh, city-state they wanted to save. All right, they're both, they're both the heroes of their own story. They both... They both a lot of sacrifice, and let me tell you something. They, they both, they, they both ruled for a bit. They both got kicked out by their own people, 
And let me tell you something. Theseus and Tommy, those guys would not be caught dead respecting women. Let me tell you, Theseus' whole plotline is just ditched a woman, feeling good. That you, you can call them a lot of things, but you cannot call them simps. Let me tell you that. Theseus was no simp. Listen, you laugh, but the parallels are astounding. Because, like, it's like most of the Greek heroes, like, just died tragically. That was my point about nothing good happening to heroes. They, they all just die. They all just die miserably. I think Heracles was, like, had, had, like, one of the best ends, and he died on a fire. He died in a fire. Theoretically, he, he ascended to the, to the divine plane or something. But he died in a fire. That's, that's the main detail here. All right, I guess he got to be, like, a god afterwards, but still died in a fire. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. I think he was poisoned by something. I don't know. I'm not clear. It's been a while. It's been a while. You're forgetting about Perseus. Oh god, what did Perseus do again? Uh, uh, Perseus. Mm, I know that guy. Yep. Ah, Perseus. Now there was a... Mm, mm, Perseus. I know who that is. Yep. Yep, that name sounds familiar. Alongside Cadmus. Oh, of course I know Cadmus. Oh, everyone knows Cadmus. He found it Thebes. Uh, Perseus. Ah, uh, yes. He headed the uh, Medusa. Mmm. Mm, I remember the song. Yep. Mm, he was the king of my Mycenae. Yep. I know. I know that. I know that place. Yeah, I, I knew about this. I knew. Uh, yeah, I knew all of this. Yep. And he was married to Andromeda. Yep. Who, who could forget about? Yeah, I know who Andromeda is. Yeah, yeah. He was the the son of the. He, he was the grandson of the the king of Argos. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. I have literally no idea who Perseus is. I've definitely heard his name, but I don't remember. I don't know anything about him. I don't know anything about him. You guys are all Perseus, Percy Jackson nerds. All right. Don't bring that up around me, all right? No. Nothing fills me with fury than when you reference Greek mythology and people are like, oh, Zeus? Oh, I know him. He's the guy from Percy Jackson. And it's like, I, I will punch you in the face. I will punch you in the face right here. Don't say that. It, thou, imagine thousands of years of mythology getting like passed down through oral storytelling since before writing was invented. And then people know it from Percy Jackson. Imagine! Listen, yeah, the fun fact, Technoblade is actually 25% Greek. And I never knew my grandmother on the Greek side. So I could be a Greek, like... I could be like a Greek semi-demigod, alright? Th those guys still get clout, right? Right, semi-demigods? Yeah, everyone talks about the semi-demigods. Oh, everyone loves those guys. Yeah, we get we get powers. Mmm. Mmm, powers, yum. Alright. Yeah, semi demi but god pug! Look this up. What do you call someone who is one fourth Greek god? These answers are th th these results are absolutely not correct. These this is absolutely not okay, let me replace one fourth with one quarter. A quarter god is a person. Oh, I'm a quarter god? Quarter god pog? Alright. Wait, no, this is from some fandom website. This isn't legit. This isn't legit, no. Alright, well, quora.com. Now that's the. Now that's where I go for my information. Okay, these guys are a bunch of nerds. I'm not reading this. Alright. Alright, we're going with the demi semi god or this semi whatever. I don't care. Quarter god, let's go. Let's go, Pog. Imagine Gilgamesh reacting to the fact that he is two-thirds god, one-third man for the first time. Those fractions got crazy. You know, I was thinking about it, and Heracles, he wasn't really a demigod. He was like 50, like 6% god or something. Because he was related to Zeus like three times. He was like a triple Zeus. But I don't think the Greeks really understood how, like, genetics worked. So they probably, they probably thought he was, like, 150% Zeus, because he was related to him in three different ways. And that's why he was so awesome.
Plus, Percy Jackson is great and all. But the fact that it's the only reason people know Greek mythology is terrible, all right? It, it just it ruins me. It ruins me. Demi, demigod, hug! All right. How should I fill the time? More Greek mythology? Do you guys want to hear more Greek mythology? So you guys know, like, Jason from, from the Argonauts, right? Like, he got... He got the Golden Fleece and all that, which was important for reasons I have forgotten and frankly do not care about. You guys want to hear about Jason? So Jason, he had to get this Golden Fleece for reasons, which were probably important, but I don't care about them. Wait, no, I think he got, like, kicked out because his dad was, like, there was like, some prophecy. His dad was like, I don't know, I don't like that. I need this. Uh, some, something about, like, having, like, one sandal or something. He's like, oh, God, this guy, this guy Jason's going to overthrow me. I should send him on an impossible quest to retrieve this golden fleece. <laughs> Good luck achieving that. And so anyways, he goes and he goes and gets like all the Greek. He, they do like a whole crossover episode. Like all the Greek demigods and heroes show up and they're all, they're all getting this golden fleece. And anyways, they, they do all of that. And while he's, while he's there, it's whatever the island is called. I don't remember what the island is called. And he, uh, Jason meets this girl and she's like the daughter of the king of wherever they are they get the golden fleece and now they're fleeing now they're fleeing the argonauts are all out of there and he's fleeing with medea who is the daughter of the of the king of wherever and uh, but the problem is the king was the king was catching up to them all right they were all in boats there was like this whole fleet going after them and medea jason's new girlfriend is like don't worry guys i got this because she she kidnapped i think her brother i think she had her brother with her so what she did was she, uh, she chopped her brother into a thousand tiny pieces and then cast them into the ocean. And the thing about Greek mythology is that you have to bury all of the body to go to the afterlife. So now that the king had to stop his fleet and pick up thousands of pieces of his, of his son. And that's how they got away. That, that is how Medea helped the Argonauts escape. Is the most, the, the single most brutal, brutal killing of her brother that I've ever heard of. And you know what Jason did? You know what Jason did later in his life? He was like, I should cheat on Medea. I should find, I should cheat on her. That is a, that is a good idea. I think this is a good idea for my, my long-term prosperity is to cheat on the woman that did this. This, th th I can foresee no consequences happening from this. Anyways, I, I, it did not work out. It did not work out for, for Jason. That was not a good lifetime, like, long-term decision, I have to say. I have to say. Do not know what that guy was thinking. Did, I, I mean, I, I, at that point, he deserved, he deserves what happens to him. I mean, how could you not see that coming? I, I think I, I think she killed, like, all his children or something. I don't know. Maybe she baked them into a pie. Maybe that was someone else. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I do not think anyone survived that. That was just, that was just not a good idea. That was just a bad, that was just not a good idea, I have to say. I have to say. So yeah, some important lessons on human nature to learn from that story. <laughs> I'm gonna, there's gonna be people, I'm gonna have for like, miss some small detail, but that's, that's the gist of it. That's the gist of it. Oh right, there was this one guy. Oh, there was this one guy in the Trojan War. Oh, let me, I have to, I'm not gonna pronounce his name right, let me, uh. No, he, he was, he was part of the, he was, no, no, it's not, it's not Odysseus. It is not Odysseus. Everyone knows who Odysseus is, all right? No, this, this is a really obscure character. He literally did, like, one thing. But it was really funny. So, okay, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna use my computer. It's not Apollo. It's an obscure guy, all right? All right, so what is this? this famous archer. Well, not really famous, but he had a famous bow. All right, his name was, was like, Philoctetes or something. I don't know. Uh, that's what it's, it's spelled, right? Yeah, I spelled it right. I don't know how to pronounce that, all right? But there was this guy. We'll, we'll call him Phil. Let's call him Phil, all right? And he he was he was big because he had uh, he had uh, Hercules' bow, and obviously Hercules is a pretty big deal. So having his bow and arrow, I think I think uh, what was the story about the bow? So Her Heracles like he like he burned himself in like a pier or something. He was poisoned, so he could descend to the god realm and die on his own terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he gave his bow. To like the one guy there that was willing to willing to set the fire, because everyone was like, "Oh no, we can't burn you to death. We respect you too much." And so I, I think he gave the guy the bow, and uh, then he gave it to his son, Phil Philoctetes or whatever. I don't know. I don't care. So, anyways, so the Trojan War is happening, and they're getting uh, they're getting all the Greek heroes together so they can uh, Trojan War pog and just just ruin Paris's life. 
This is this is all from that story earlier. They were all, the gods got butthurt that Paris said Aphrodite was the prettiest, and so they're like, all right, time time to destroy Troy or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I think it's because they stole they stole like the wife of the king of the Spartans or something, and that was a Helen. I don't know, and they just hope they'd be chill. I, I'm not clear on the details, but this flock, this, this Phil guy, he had the he had the bow of Hercules, of Heracles is what he was called. Great time, Hercules is the Roman version. And so obviously he had to come along for the ride. And then they, they got to like some island, they got to some island, and I think the gods were butter because the gods are always butter or something. So they send down these snakes, and these snakes, they, they bite Phil in the foot. All right, they bite Phil in the foot, but he doesn't die. And they, they kill the snakes, or I don't know. I don't know what happens to the snakes. They're not yet, to, they haven't gone to Troy yet. And they're like, all right. And the guy's like, all right, we can still go. Cause you know, I'm just spitting the foot. It's fine, I'll get better. And the guy's like, I don't know, man. You, mm, that foot wound, it, it smells kind of bad. It smells kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. He's like, guys, guys, you, are, are you serious? Like, mm, could, could you please, could you please stay behind? We, we really, we really just don't want to smell this for the, for the rest of the war. We're, we're just gonna leave you here on this, on this empty I, I don't know if they have We're just gonna leave you on this island. All right, and, and do the whole war without you. He's like, are, are you, are you kidding me? I, I have the I have the magic the magic bow of Heracles. I, I have the, the the most like important bow. Are you kidding me? And they're like, yeah, we're dead. And then they left him behind on that island. They left him behind on the island. I think it was for ten years. I think it was for ten years. They left him on the island with the god bow. They didn't even take the god bow. They just let him keep it. And they went and did the war without him. And so like ten years later, ten years later, it's been ten years. They can't invade Troy. It's not working out. And they, they kidnap some prophet or something, I'm not clear on the details, and the prophet tells them, alright guys, the one way, the only way that Troy will fall, is if you guys have the magic bow of Heracles, the magic bow of Heracles is the key, and they have to like, they have to like awkwardly sail back, and get to this guy they ditched on an island for ten years because his foot smelled bad, and that's, that's how they won the war, they got the bow. That, that's just so awkward. Just imagine sitting there like, all right, all right, which one of you brought the magic bow of Heracles? Uh, sir. Uh, sir, we, 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 uh, we, we left him on an island for 10 years. Why, why would do that? Well, his, his foot smelled bad, sir. His foot, you gotta, you gotta understand, sir. It's, it smelled, it smelled really bad. It smelled really bad. And that's how it all happened. I do not remember anything about Telemachus. I'm sure in some versions it's his dad they left behind. I don't know. I don't know. Paris picked Aphrodite, and in thanks that he picked her, she gifted him the guy's wife as a gift. Oh, I remember this actually. I remember because I remember uh, Athena and Hera promised him stuff that is just objectively way better than a girlfriend. All right. Just straight up way more worth it. It was like it was like eternal like riches or like something. And he's like, nah. Nah. I no, no, Paris. Paris literally went, I choose that guy's wife. <laughs> he was offered so many things, he's like, nope, don't want it. I want that guy's wife. Paris was such a simp. So many people died because Paris was a simp. Oh my god. Well, Achilles, by far the best, but worst hero ever. Ah, oh, yeah. Didn't he have, like, that friend that died terribly? I forget if that was worth turning into a meme or not. Oh, and he had the whole rivalry with Hector. Ah, uh, I think it was, like, brothers with Paris or something. Who cares? Who cares? Oh, Odysseus did a lot of cool stuff. Most of it I've forgotten. Or like I, I sort of half remember, but not enough to retell it. So I'd have to, I'd have to look up the Google document that I actually have. Uh, okay, this story is actually good, but I've forgotten the, the most crucial, the most crucial context detail. Okay, everyone knows the story of the Trojan horse. That is just not necessary to tell. That is just not. Okay, you know we'll, we'll just save it for later. We'll save it for later. It's the story about how like a particular hero was born, but I didn't write down the name of that hero. I just wrote down the story. I only have so many mythology memes, by the way. Okay, I'm 90% sure it was Achilles. Alright, Achilles. I, I think that, that sounds... Alright. Ah, yes, it was Achilles. I'm smart. I'm smart. Alright. Alright. So this is, uh... I'm not sure where this ranks canonically. There's some... There, there's some contradiction. Who was this? There was, like, this one guy... Yeah, 
Lucian, yeah! Yeah, it was Lucian. I think Lucian wrote this one. Uh, Lucian was this, uh... It started with an L. I'm sure it started with an L. Lucian was this guy. He, he like, rewrote, like, behind the scenes of famous Greek myths. He was, like, this Roman writer. And he, he was, like, he was, like, the me of Roman times. He'd, like, parody myths. And he wrote... So I'm not sure how this ranks canonically. But, you know, it's like a 2,000-year-old story, so now it's, a, it, it, now it's the myth, okay? So basically, Zeus was, uh... Zeus was, uh, he, 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 was, he was doing... He, he was simping. Not, he, was, he was sitting here chasing down some woman to hold hands with, as Zeus does. You know how Zeus is. And he just strolls on by Prometheus, who's... I don't, I don't know, what, what, what do they do to the priest? They had him, like, chained somewhere because he... He's trapped somewhere, and Prometheus is, and he's, he's making fun of Prometheus, and Prometheus is like, oh, you, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to hold hands with that woman, man. Zeus, you do not want to hold hands with that woman, and he, he's telling Prometheus, Prometheus, there is literally nothing you could tell me that could possibly make me not hold hands with this woman, and Prometheus is like, mm, I, I don't know, you're talking to, like, the guy that does the prophecies, the guy that does the prophecies, Zeus, like, okay, fine, okay, fine. What prophecy could possibly make me not hold hands with this woman? And he says, okay, well, uh, the, the firstborn son of this woman will surpass its father. All right, I'm not going to hold hands with this woman. Mm, in fact, I'm going to marry her off to some random guy in the phone book. Mm. Well, who did he get married off to? I'm going to marry him off to Peleus. I'm going to marry him off to Peleus. Yes, this random guy. Like 90 percent, all the Greek gods were like obsessed with not getting surpassed. All of them just did not want to get surpassed by their offspring. That's like all they did. I don't know what it was about Greeks in the ancient times and not wanting their sons to surpass them, but that's like all they worried about. They killed so many people for it. Although I have to say, it was kind of bizarre because he's in here like, oh, I have to find like the most irrelevant, random mortal to hold hands with this woman and bear a child, and then he picked like he picked like a king. It was like a king. They, they just do not care about the mortals, and then, and then that, that person, that, uh, the prophecy, that was Achilles, and he was, he, he, he helped a little bit with the, with the whole Trojan War thing. He helped a little bit. Just a tad. I'm not sure how that ranks in the canon, because I don't think... I don't think Prometheus was supposed to be there at the time, but it's fine. 